I just got a call saying, because when we were out, we actually were, did a search party with the police. And um, four of us went this way. Yeah, yeah I we went a different direction. Way. I was with her friend Rose when we got a call saying, can I get a pawn? I don't actually know what went there. How long did you stay after that? Did you find out where he was? Well, we were like basically, we were like the police told us to stay together and this, we went into the side of the church and stuff all together. We just sat there for a couple hours. Do you know who or if any of your friends um, were the ones that pointed out the pond or speculated the pond or? Well, um, earlier that morning we looked in the woods like by the pond because that was where his phone last was last pinged to and like everything. But we never looked, thought to look in it. Yeah, it's the last thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think that's it for me. Do you guys, how do you guys want Michael to be remembered on this campus for CMU students? I mean, I know he didn't go here, but still, um, he impacted a lot of people from what it sounds like. My Spanish professor was saying, like, this has happened before, like, not exactly like this, but, um, like, someone from out of town, uh, like, came here, and they, it was at a bar, I think he was older, but um, he didn't know his way, and he like froze to death. So like, and this is equally as awful. So I like, I just really don't want that to happen like again. And um, so like, I hope people like realize like, like we would have done anything, you know? Yeah, there's so much we would change, you know. It's like I would not, if I had any idea. Yeah, it could have been prevented, but I mean, so easily. Like, yeah, it's just it was a mix up, and I don't think anyone. No, no. It was like a freak accident because like so many people, like even my roommate, like saw him, but like no one thought like he was with people at the time. Like it's definitely not something you, you know, think of or have something cross your mind like yeah. that. Yeah. Because I mean, it's so rare. You never think it's something that could really happen to you, I guess. But I just don't want people to think like, oh, like. Um, this is a sign like don't be reckless because it can it can happen to any, like anyhow regardless he, but like he's smart and he wants to, he wants to be a nurse like yeah he he's diabetic like he's been careful and like he's taken care of his diabetes for a long time obviously and, and has been careful about it and just he happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time so I just want people to be safe from this and learn from it yeah, and I just want people to realize, like, obviously he's just a name or a face to some people, but he did matter to us. Like, it's not just a story, I guess. Obviously, people are going to talk about it, like, and it's just gossip, but it's really meaningful and sad for a lot of us. Like, it's awful. Like, he's the, we were at uh, the rugby house because my friend, our friend Andrew plays rugby, and um, Abby didn't go, but... I was there, and me and my roommate and my best friend, I only had $2 on me, and I knew it was a 28-minute walk. We Googled it. He gave me $20, and he said, take a cab. And I just, I don't know, I wish I could have done that, you know? Like, he's the reason yeah. that we, us, me, my roommate, and my best friend got home okay, and I didn't give, I still have his $20. So. I think, I think it up. <laughs> but yeah, I can't thank you enough for coming to talk to us. It took a lot of courage for you guys to do this.